My freshman and sophomore year, I wasn't really involved, and then like my junior and senior year, I started speaking. And for me, I learned more about like the Bible and the stories, and like for me, um, like my relationship with Christ, we're like closer now. <laughs> yeah. To be able to meet with a group of kids who uh, believe the same thing uh, every week too. I mean, how has that affected you as you go through the hallways and just uh, you know just be a student uh, athlete here? Um, it's really like um, encouraging to see other people come here that are my friends and it's really cool that we have a lot of similarities through Christ. Mm -hmm. What's your encouragement for other schools to consider having a Fellowship of Christian Athletes huddle at their school? Um, I encourage you to invite your friends because you don't have to be an athlete to come to FCA. Mm -hmm. And how about some of the other kids here walking those, those hallways? You know, Why should they give FCA a shot? Um, because it's fun, we have free food, and you get to learn about Jesus. <laughs> what could be better, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a um, pretty good feeling that a bunch of kids come together, and they're, and they're all athletes. And being an athlete, it's just a, it's a huge responsibility, not just for people around you, but your family, just for representing your name, your school, and just to have God be there with you on the, on the field, um, just to help keep you safe and just fight through adversity. It's just, it's just a great thing that we have here. Do you think you view sport differently because of uh, some of the lessons you've been through? Um, I have just some lessons that some of the students or Terry or Nate Chapman has taught us. It's just another, another thing to think about when you're getting ready to play a game against other people that you need to stay safe and always kind of know what you're playing for, know, know what you have a better purpose than what you actually think you do. What can, what can we expect? What happens here on Wednesdays, you know, if, if kids have those kind of questions? I mean, we come together, we talk, if they have questions about it, we talk to them about it. If they have any questions or doubting at God at all, if they're going through a hardship, we help them work through it. And obviously we pray. We, we usually have some pretty good food just to help them out there. Mm -hmm. You know, and you're about a year away from uh, going away to school or whatever, too, you know. Um, is that on your radar to, to stay plugged into Christ as you go into college in a couple of years? I mean, yeah, he's going to help me because I'm going to be on my own. So just um, for him to be there, it'll just be a really good, fulfilling feel, feeling.